Hey, Road Fam. Hello! We are back in the land of weird gnomes and Lookout Mountain. Oh my god, we're back in Chattanooga, but this time we're just passing through Chattanooga. Yes, we're driving somewhere south of Chattanooga. It's a surprise where we're going. We're going outside Chattanooga, right? Yes. It's three hours from Nashville where we're staying right now. But today's the birthday of a very special person. And we're gonna go and see this person. Yes. And in this moment right now, you're gonna go down below and comment any guess you think who we're gonna go and see. You've seen them before. We have drive like four hours before to go and see them. Gosh, that's just a habit of ours, huh? Driving four hours. Yeah, but it's this person's birthday today. You can't just miss a birthday. Exactly. We packed some food, packed some drinks. We brought the computer. I've been editing the whole way. Yep. And just listen to good tunes. Come along with us on this road trip. And we're actually just now about to get out of some traffic that slowed us down the last half hour. So that's good news. Chase is driving, so he's not stressed because I'm not driving. Let's go, friends. Let's get on the road. Between you and me, I just got to use the bathroom in the women's restroom. Keep that a secret, though. Honestly, though, it's exactly like the guy's bathroom. We just stopped for a pee stop, fill up with gas. We have like an hour ahead. I'm hungry, but Chase didn't let me stop by Taco Bell. I have another story about the women's bathroom. Oh my gosh. Let's keep going. Tell us about your story with the women's bathroom. So when I was in middle school, we, um, you know, in school you never go outside of the locker room or the bathroom that you have, right? And the girls, I don't know how or why, but they all banded together and they made up this lie that the girls' locker room had sofas and vending machines no and all way. sorts of fun stuff. And we always wanted to go and see it. Never did. So I can't confirm whether or not the women's bathroom. Of course it was a, a, a lie. You don't know that. Oh gosh, guys are so dangerous. I don't know it, you don't know it, who knows it? What is this? I know it, I'm a girl, I know. Well, whatever. Let's keep driving, hopefully we find something that we can eat on the way. Awesome. Guess who stopped at Taco Bell? Because I'm, I'm a sweetie. I'm excited to try these. There's a little potato here. We're gonna give a review on the bottom of our receipt because they were so nice. So nice. First, uh, I think it's the first. No! They left the cheese on it. Just scrape it. I don't know. Well, let's eat before we get to the secret destination. People are driving crazy, so I'm gonna eat before we take off for yeah. sure this time. Yeah. Normally, I eat going down the road. Sour cream on it. No. Mm -hmm. I just gotta eat it. Yeah, you're not gonna waste it. Let's hit the road, Jack. Sugary. You have any idea who we came to see? Happy no? Birthday. Well, someone's birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> uh, thanks for coming. Being on the road help us develop friendships that we know will last a lifetime. When we found out Richard was having a birthday party, well, we had to make the trip to see him. Many of our friends had been making pit stops with their buses and vans here at Splendor Oaks. We went from knowing very little about this place to falling in love with everything it has to offer. This is Hey Hey over here. It's a really pretty guy. Oh, that's cute. Hey Hey. Hey Hey. You got it! Look at this fuzzy face. That's so cute. Elizabeth, now you're like a, a farm girl. Farm girl. I think there might be some eggs right now. 
yeah. And the eggs are all different colors because of the different types of chicken. Uh huh. Oh wow. Yeah. And then sometimes there's really little eggs. This one's like hey hey. Hey hey will um the little ones that are that type will lay these eggs. Look at a pretty color, right? I heard that you don't have to wash them because in the factories they mm -hmm. do so much stuff to them that you have to wash them or keep uh -huh, them. But here it's like so fresh, yeah. Oh my god, you're so cute. Curtis and Diana have a unique experience for people interested in small space living. People wanting an escape from the normalities of life in the city. And for people who want a deeper connection with nature. Ma! Oh, it's just beep. Oh, whatever. Ma! Would they attack me? No. Can I pet them? Ma! Oh my gosh! It goes like. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah, she's calling you? Yeah, she's like, hey, why yeah. are you stopping? You. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I found my slice of heaven being surrounded by goats. Got you, we're buddies now. Oh yeah, yep, we're buddies. <laughs> Not anymore. She's like, I'm just used to my ma. Big bellies. Yeah, right? Chase is so jealous. Sorry, babe. Finally, one of the animals love me more. Come here, Ryland. <laughs> Hi, I'm Diana from Splendor Oaks. We're here in Canton, Georgia, where we do bus and van conversions, but we also have a tiny living Airbnb rental. So this is Eden Tree House, and we also have a converted school bus. Um, so you guys should come check us out. Eden Tree House is a tranquil getaway where your mind will wander. The outside makes its way in through oversized glass windows. And you can relax your worries away while rocking back and forth in the hammock. For us, the coolest experience of all was the opportunity to try bus life before committing fully to a project or a specific sized vehicle. The State Bird Bus is a full-size Bluebird TC2000 that is outfitted to sleep up to six people comfortably and truly allows a person to imagine their life on the road. We would have loved the opportunity to experience tiny living before jumping directly into the largest bus we could find. This is one of our current builds that's going on. So we actually have the option where you can farm out your full build and we can do the full conversion for you. Or we have what's called the DIY project pit stop. So if you start living in your bus and you get to finish something but you don't have the tools um, or the knowledge base, you can come park at our place and then you can use our tools and Curtis actually consults on different projects to figure out those final details. So these benches, they're, we call them the daydreamer benches. And they're from, like the style is from my favorite 
park in Columbia. It's called the Barefoot Park, and it's all about like grounding and stuff. And so you lay with one person puts their head here, and mm -hmm. feet here, and one person here, here. So when you're laying down, you can have like a conversation, like. <laughs> oh, cute! Splendor Oaks is a living project, expanding constantly to offer more for the people who choose to stay a night or have a year. The area surrounding the talking benches will in time become a year-round site for wedding venues. More treehouse tiny dwellings will be developed around the property to host large gatherings. And in the future, Curtis and Diana will even offer the opportunity to stay in a container home on site. We've showed you a little bit around Splendor Oaks. There's a lot here. A lot for people who are considering going small, a lot for people who need some help going small, and then for people who are somewhere in between on their builds or whatever it may be. But we're up here obviously because of Richard getting one year older and well the last time that we saw them they were planning to do some things with the bus but they hadn't quite done them yet so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick walkthrough of their bus that way you can see the updates the style is very different from a lot of buses that we've seen and we love that because it always has this home and beachy vibe where when you walk in you really feel like you're on vacation so I'm gonna take my shoes off here let's get to it Richard and Liz have created one of the most unique schooly builds of anyone we know. Having met while working on a cruise ship years ago, they've brought some of the fun, the beach and the good vibes all into the build while allowing their personalities to show in all of the details. So friends, let me tell you, if there is one thing in bus life to be envious of, it is when your friends have super comfortable RV chairs. <laughs> These things are literally like the most cushy, comfortable, swivel, reclining chairs that you would get in like a half a million dollar rig. And they eat on them. Not on them, but they eat while sitting in them at this beautiful table. I'm envious. Can oh. you see it? I'm currently green with envy. Question. Uh, yeah. Have you tried the bus? Yes. I. So we have uh, cruise control, uh -huh. and sometimes he'll turn on cruise control if we're in... Well, this was in New Mexico, and he just like had it. We were on the highway, and he just got out, and then I just got in, and I was just like hoping for the best. And I mean, it's fine. I don't mind the air brakes. But I'm still getting used to them. Yeah. Yeah. And Richard Same. used to be a, a bus driver, so he took off some of the mirrors and I need them. So uh, I'm like, uh, they have cruise control. I drove the bus two times. Well, once in Arkansas and once in San Diego. Once in Arkansas. Oh, once in Arkansas. The one in San Diego, I did drive, like, mm -hmm. the whole island. Right? Yeah, you drove, like, three miles in it. Hey, awesome. How did you like it? I wasn't Girl. stressed, I did pretty good, no? Yeah, you did great. Jay, you were you stressed at first. Me. Yeah. I recorded you. But we didn't put it anywhere. No, but we can. Here's the footage from Rose driving in San Diego. That's probably a good speed. Can you believe I'm driving the bus? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm playing like video games. I feel like I haven't talked at all today, but I've been having so much fun. You know how much I love animals. So as soon as I saw there, there was a bunch of chickens and goats and that pig. <gasps> I just wanted to go and pet them and play with them and just talking and enjoy ourselves with friends. But I wanted to show you a very, very cool area they have here in Splendor Oaks. It's like this outside shower. They call it the Cold Therapy Cedar Shower. Look at how amazing this is. I'll sit here, take a shave, relax, 
just enjoy myself it's so nice every single part of the place that you look is just like oh, i want to spend a week in here and it goes without saying happy birthday reacher safe travels out there and we'll catch up with you soon Friends, we have had a spectacular day at Splendor Oaks. We're really kind of sad to have to go. Rich is about to take some swings at the pinata, and then we have absolutely got to get back on the road and head north. However, we don't believe this is gonna be the last time that we're gonna be here at Splendor Oaks. I'm certain we'll, we'll be back. We've had a blast here. They have an amazing area for really any type of activity, whether you want the experience of tiny home living if you want this this relationship with nature that you know a house in the city just isn't gonna have or if you want to see some really cool bus builds taking place or experience what it's like to live in a bus because they do have a bus on site that's rich and liz's i don't know why i pointed it at but they have the stay bird which is a really cool full-size bluebird all-american it's been a blast we're gonna do a few more things here but then we've got to hit the road don't hurt anybody with the stick, babe. No. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rich. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Thank you guys for being here. Woo! Ooh! Friends. I feel like we were just at summer camp in the best way possible. It was fun the entire oh time. Oh my God, I had so much fun. Truly guys, if you want to check out Tiny Living, if you're interested in a bus, just come to Splendor Oaks. All the things I said just a second ago, you gotta be here. It's it's a whole experience. We had so much fun and everybody was so nice. If you love animals, you need to oh, come. Animals galore in the best way possible. If you like goats, you like a pig, you like chickens. They had eggs, I showed them the eggs. It's been a lot of fun and we're really sad to go. But, I know. like I said, we'll probably be back here before too long. Yeah, hopefully. We we'll are gonna drive back to Nashville around three hours, three and a half hours back and then to bed. See you in the next one, friends.